In this video, I'll be talking about the Proxmox Backup Server. So Proxmox Backup Server is an enterprise backup solution for backing up and restoring the VMs, containers, and physical hosts. This is an open source enterprise backup server. Click on Download Proxmox Backup Solution 3.1 ISO Installer. So I'll be using Balina Etcher, and here is Balina Etcher. I have USB flash disk. So I'll be flashing it from file, Proxmox backup server. So I'll be creating the flash disk so that I can boot it from flash disk. All right, so flash is completed. So we'll close this, and I'll remove the flash disk from here. And now I'll be going to my server, and I will start installing Proxmox backup server. Installation process is simple. You simply need to boot from the flash disk. And now we'll agree the terms and conditions and simply choose the storage disk where you want to install the operating system. So there is only one storage right now available in this server. So I'll be installing it here. I'll be choosing swap size here, press OK and then next. And then it will detect the location automatically, the time zone automatically. And I'll enter the root password administrator email we need to enter the IP address so I'll be entering 100.4 DNS name PBS which is Proxmox backup server dot dot com next and now we'll wait for this process to complete all right so backup server is ready so I'll be accessing the backup server here, 192.168.100.4 and colon 8007, port number for web UI for Proxmox backup server, login to the backup server. Let me give you a quick overview of what is available here. On dashboard, you can see the server status, data store usage, and running tasks, and task summary, and the subscription. Of course, we are not using the enterprise subscription. Here you can see on the right side, show fingerprint fingerprint will be used to connect to the proxmox ve or proxmox virtual environment for the backup purpose so i'll be showing you that once we configure proxmox backup server notes you can add for example and i can just add it over here configuration you can see here these are the network related configuration dns configuration and all of that access control i have created two users here one user was root and i have created one backup user you can create the users you can create the api token and all of that remotes in case you have connected to the remote servers remote backup servers from the same location or different locations so you can add that here is the traffic control if you want to control the traffic on backup server you can do that ssl certificate so i have covered that in the ssl certificate videos and here shell run the shell commands here for example i'll just do lsblk so it will show me all the disks which are available here we can see here the storage these are all the disks here are the tape backups you can do the tape backup also drives can be added over here data stores so i can click on add and i can start adding the data stores once the data stores are available it could be other backup server also it could be your nas server sand storage or even cloud also so we already have the disks which are internal disks so i'll show you how we can use this particular disk to store the backups so I'll be going here to shell and here if I see lsblk you can see here that right now I have these partition and in root partition if I go here so right now there is no folder I can create one folder here mkdir and it will be backups and you can see here that backups folder is available here now I can of course go here back I'll be clicking here add data store I'll give it a name backups and the absolute path will be backups here I'll click on add. Now you can see here that it is creating the data store. And you can see here 217 GB is the total available size. You can take the backup of containers, host, and VM. If I go here, permission, you can add the permission, user permission, and you can choose the user backup at PBS and role. The role is data store backup. Now this particular user has been added which is backup at pbs so i added this user here if you see access control so here you can add the user so the user has been added and this user has been assigned a permission to store the data into data store backup so i'll go back here to proxmox 
I'll click on data center, click on the storage, click on add storage, Proxmox backup server, and we'll give it a name, for example, backups, and server will be server IP address 192.168.100.4. This is what we used for the name, and here I can use the same user which we created. This one was the user. If I go to access control, backups, and here is backups at PBS, which is Proxmox backup server. And here is the password. And here, the data store name, if you go back here to the backup server, you can see here the data store name is backups. So this is data store, and inside data store, the data store name is backups. So I'll be using data store name here, backups. And finally, we need to add the fingerprint. I'll be going back here to the dashboard of the Proxmox backup server. Click on show fingerprint and copy this fingerprint here and paste it over here. Add. If I go back here, you can see here backup of PVE 228 GB is available right now. And the same is available 228 GB. You can see here that the Proxmox backup server has been added over here. I'll go here to data center here and I'll click on backups and I'll add a backup here. And here you can choose where you want to add the backup. So I'll be using to the Proxmox backup server backups and I'll schedule this backup every Sunday by 1 a.m. So send email, I'll say on failure only. And here I'll be choosing PFSense, Docker, and ERP. I'll be taking the backup of all of these and I'll be taking one backup just now. So I'll be going to PFSense here. I'll click on backup and I'll create a backup to the backups and I'll backup now. Till the time it is taking the backup, I'll go back here to the ERP which we created. So I'll be taking backup of this also. Earlier we took the backup of this on Google Drive. So I'll be now taking the backup of this on backups and backup now. If I check my email and the VM ID 100 PFSense 16 GB of backup has been stored here. So complete log is also there. So this way you can check the backup status also here. Here you can see now the backup is ready on the data store and backups. You can see here that PFSense is right now running and its backup has already been taken. So if I go back here backups simply click on restore in case something goes wrong so my backup will be restored and here is erp so if i go back here to the backups one backup was available which i took on the 7th of december 2023 and another backup which is available is on the backups which is my proxmox backup server you can see here pbs here if i click i'll be able to restore it i'll just click here and restore restore now yes all right, so two minutes, 1.3 seconds, and here the output can be seen here that task is okay. So container has been restored now. I'll just start this container now to make sure that everything is working fine. If I go to console, it's working great. But the main feature that I have covered is about the backup. You can, of course, create multiple data stores here. So I can add another data store depending upon where the data store is located. So Proxmox Virtual Environment has now all of these drives available. This backup server is available in PVE also and PVE2 also. If you see here, this backup server, it is available here within this as well.